welcome back to the Brianna and Devin toy channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be decorating some squishies. I got these plain white squishies from Christmas and they're basically just these different fruits in my case and they're white so you could just decorate them however you want. I got um, six of them in total so I'm going to be picking one or two today to paint and decorate using my creative ideas. And I'll make sure to comment down below which squishies you want me to do in the future because today I've decided to paint on this strawberry. This is what it looks like. And then if I have time, I'm also going to paint on this pineapple right here. I feel like not a lot of people paint or, you know, make squishy pineapples. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. But without further ado, let's just get right on into the video. Alright guys, so as I said, I'm going to start off with this strawberry. And I'm just going to tell you guys what my idea for this is. So. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to try to use some red puffy paint as well as some pink puffy paint. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough pink. Hopefully I will because I'm also planning to use the pink for the pineapple. But I'm basically going to cover the top part of this in pink and red, kind of like mix it together, sort of um, galaxy-ish, but only with pink and red. And then I'm going to make it dipped in chocolate, so this part of it is going to be with brown puffy paint. And then I'm also going to put some rainbow sprinkles on the chocolate part. And then for the stem and stuff, that's just going to be this green color. So hopefully that works out. I'm also planning to put a little face on it because I just think that makes it super cute. But without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm kind of scared because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. But I'm going to start off by using some red and pink paint. Alright guys, so this is what I have so far. Um, yeah, it's kind of looking like an Easter egg. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and mix in some pink as well. And hopefully it starts to look a little better. And I feel like I have to use really thin coats because if I don't, then I'm pretty sure it's going to be messed up. So let's keep going. Okay guys, so as you can see, um, this is not looking that good at all. Like, this is definitely not what I was going for. And I definitely feel like I should have done like smaller sections with the pink and the red sort of thing. I didn't really want it to be like red, pink, red, pink all around. I just wanted it to be random places. So yeah, that was kind of a fail. But, but I do got to say that I haven't done this in a while, so yeah. But I think now I'm probably just going to cover up some of the red spots and just kind of put like a really chunky pink layer because I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. And this pink um, paint is going to take many, many layers. I could just feel it because... I put one layer on and you can barely even see it, so therefore I'm going to put on very, very thick layers like this. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like. Um, I honestly think that's a little bit better than it was before because yikes, it was a hot mess before. But now I'm gonna go ahead and take my red paint here and kind of do the same thing, but in different places of course. All right guys, so I finished 
I, I'm pretty sure I finished the, you know, um, red and pink part of the strawberry. So this is kind of what it looks like. I decided to add like little red spots in the pink part and then little pink spots in, pink spots in the red part to add some detail. And I don't know if this looks good or not. I mean, it looks very interesting, but yep, that's just what it's gonna be. And now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the leaves because I'm gonna save the chocolate part and the sprinkles for tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the leaves this green color and All right guys, so I went ahead and finished, well, I didn't completely finish it because it was really hard to do the top of it because I had to kind of touch it to put it on the stand thing for now, but this is just what the strawberry looks like with the green part done, for the most part anyway. So yeah, I'm pretty much done with this squishy. All I have to do tomorrow is the chocolate part with the sprinkles and then like the face, so yeah. It was pretty fun to create and it really did not take much time at all, but now I'm just gonna leave this overnight to dry and I'll get back to you guys the next day. So, peace out for now. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day and sorry if you hear background noises because it is snowing very hard right now again. So anyway, here is what the strawberry looks like. And I think it looks pretty cool. I really like how it turned out so far. But now I'm gonna go ahead and just basically finish it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and first off take my green paint and just cover the little stem that I didn't cover. That's the stem. And now I'm gonna go ahead in with some brown paint and I'm gonna do like a little chocolate dipped kind of strawberry look if you guys know what I mean. So let's go ahead and do that. So I think I finished the chocolate part and this is just what it looks like. I really like it. I think it looks like actual chocolate. Like I actually dipped this in chocolate. So yeah, I don't really know how I feel about the whole pinkish, reddish strawberry part. Like I don't know if it looks weird or if it looks cool, but anyway, with that aside, now I'm just going to go ahead and create little white dots throughout the whole um, strawberry and these are just going to basically be the seeds. So I have some white puffy paint here. If this is not enough, I will use the glow in the dark one. But yeah, basically that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so now I think that that is enough of the white spots. As you can see, I had a pretty big mess up right there. Like, yeah, I squirted out way too much. So I started to do it with the end of my paintbrush right here instead just so I don't mess anything up. And I think this is looking pretty good right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and, I guess, why not? I'm just gonna go ahead and let it dry. Okay guys, so I actually went ahead and added the sprinkles of the strawberry. I really love all the sprinkles. I think they just add a super nice touch. So now the final step for the strawberry, I'm pretty sure, is to just add a face. So I think I'm going to add the face on this side right here. Alright guys, so I'm pretty sure this is it for the strawberry. I mean, I think I could have done a better job on the face. Um, the pink thing is supposed to be the tongue, by the way. I accidentally put it in the wrong spot, but I think I fixed it pretty well. 
So yeah, this is basically it for the strawberry. I will give it a squish once it is all dry. All right guys, so now with this done, let's go ahead and move on to the pineapple squishy. All right guys, so now it is time to move on to the pineapple. So I'm pretty excited for this one. Basically, what I'm going to do is, okay, I'm kind of confused. Like, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go ahead and do like a, kind of like a sunset sort of image, like a yellow to a pink, I'm guessing. I don't really know. And then I'm just going to make this part green, of course. And I'm also going to add a face into this because why not? So yeah, this is just going to be a pretty interesting design and yeah so let's just go ahead and get started all right guys so i think this is kind of what it looks like right now it definitely is starting to look like a pineapple which i'm pretty excited about so now I'm going to go ahead and start painting on the pink part of this. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay guys, so um, this may look a little different to you now. And that is because I actually darkened the pink color a lot because I just felt like this pink was not covering it, not doing the job. So I actually decided to use some of my acrylic paint right here and mix it in with some puffy paint, some white puffy paint because of course you can't just like paint squishy with acrylic paint or else it will crack. So that's what I did and it looks super cool. And then I also decided to kind of mix both of the colors in between to create a sort of a gradient effect. It kind of created an orange as you can see and it almost looks like fire which I think is pretty cool. So I finally decided what I'm gonna do with this pineapple and I'm actually going to create like a bear pineapple if you guys know what I mean. So I'm gonna have like two little feet and then two arms. You guys will get the idea and you'll see what I mean soon. But yeah, that is just what I'm going to do. But other than that, it's gonna look pretty normal, pretty much like a pineapple besides the pink color. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this um, green right here and color the top part of it green because I don't really wanna change too much about the pineapple. Okay guys, so I actually ended up finishing the pineapple bear squishy off camera because it got pretty late and the lighting was super bad. So yeah, I just basically finished it off camera. All I did was just add the bare details and that was about it to finish the squishy so here are the finished squishies oh my goodness i am so so happy with how they turned out i just think they look so unique and so cool um so i guess we'll start off with the strawberries so this is the strawberry oh my gosh i love how this looks i decided that i really love how the pink and the red goes together, and also the sprinkles, of course. They look super yummy, and I just think it's really cool. Um, something that I could have done better was probably like the face because, I don't know. It just kind of looks a little odd in my opinion, but look at that. So squishy, slow, so slow rising. It is super airy as well, like you can hear that air. And then here was the other squishy. Here's the bear. Oh my god, I love this one. <laughs> so this is his cute little face. It's kind of lopsided, but yeah, I kind of did like little bear paws here. And then on the back, that's his tail, little furry brown tail. So this is what he squishes like. Again, super slow rising. I really love this one. I think this is also a really good color combination, stuff like that. 
Alright guys, so that was about it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing me decorate these two. Keep in mind that I have other decorating squishies that are just blank and waiting to be decorated. So if you want me to decorate those as well, make sure to comment that down below. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel to see more fun videos like this one. And once you've done that, click that little notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. We're so close to 400 subscribers, so I really appreciate it if you could help me out and subscribe because we are doing a live stream at 400, which I'm super excited about. And also comment down below any video suggestions or anything you want. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.